Hi, it's Nicole from the Physio Crew um, on Ask Nicole. So I've got a question this morning, which is quite a generalised question. I'll try and pick the specific ones. Um, but someone has um, asked whether swimming is good for you. Um, now, obviously, we have the hydrotherapy branch of the business, which is in Bristol at Abbotsley. Um, so we operate from there, um, seeing people sort of like the spinal cord injuries, head injuries, post-stroke, um, following um, ACLs, um, balance issues. Like We can see everybody in the pool. Um, it, it's really wide variety of conditions. And even if people are very, very um, frightened to move, we can actually get them walking sometimes um, unaided in the pool. So that's really, really good, even if they're quite weak. Um, so swimming as a general rule, um, it completely depends on where you are sort of in your um, in your program of your injury. So swimming generally, if you have absolutely no injury, is fantastic. Um, a lot of people don't quite understand the properties of the water. So when you actually get into a hydro pool, um, which is heated to 35 degrees, there is benefit of going into a normal pool as well. But for the muscles and um, for a therapeutic pain relieving effect, the warmth seems to help with the um, muscular spasm, a bit like if you get into a warm bath. Um, but there's a lot of things going on physiologically as well. So I'll just go through a few of those now. So as soon as you get into the pool, because of the um, hydrostatic pressure, the pressure of the water, that's why we feel buoyant, that, um, that pushes um, our fluid into our circulatory system. So instantly, as soon as you get into the pool, your heart actually increases in size. So it helps your cardiovascular fitness, even if you haven't done anything in the pool, which of course we want you to do because that's better for you. Um, but even just being in the pool helps to, um, increase your cardiovascular fitness. We then um, have an upregulation in the kidneys, so we know that when you're in the pool, you um, produce seven milliliters of um, urine a minute, as opposed to one milliliter, which is why a lot of people feel like they need to go for a wee when they're in the pool. Um, so it's important um, that you, if you're going to be in the pool for a long time, that you go to the toilet before and then after, and then make sure you're replacing that water um, with drink. Um, and depending on how hard you've worked, you might need to look at your electrolytes and um, your nutrition as well. Um, so yeah, so it has an um, effect on the kidneys, it has effect on the heart, it has um, an effect also on muscle strength, so um, obviously it's a really nice feeling to feel nice and buoyant and to be able to exercise in a way where you haven't got so much weight going down through your legs. So a lot of the time when patients come in and they say, well, what can I do, especially with something like arthritis, I'm in a lot of pain, as long as they're safe to get in the pool, i.e. they can walk in and out, they're not at risk of having a fall, then the pool can be a great way to um, challenge their balance because what you can do, you can get them walking unaided in the pool, you can get them doing things like marching, hip abduction, um, isolating the hamstrings, isolating the quads, um, so it can be really, really beneficial for that, and not always actually just swimming, you know, your breaststroke or your front crawl or your back crawl, um, it might just be that you um, you do a few marches on the spot, and that will just help to um, get that synovial fluid. If you saw the, um, the video I did the other day, all about knee arthritis and how there's lots of myths that you're going to wear your joints out, which is just not true, so what um, swimming or, or what um, something like pool based exercises can do is it can help get all of those things moving and the synovial fluid moving, the muscles stronger and then that can help to improve your walking and make you feel better. It also helps you to reduce your weight so we know with things like arthritis it makes a massive difference with weight so if we can even just lose half a stone, a stone and keep going until we're a normal BMI. I think in the day and age that we're in at the moment everybody is bigger than the average person should be so we look around and we think oh we're, we're not that big but you know even my size and a lot of people look at me and they say oh you're you're very slim I could easily healthily be um, a stone half a stone lighter and, um, and and for my knees if I had arthritis I absolutely would do that and I try to keep my weight under control I understand that people are human and, and people are different but actually just losing half a stone can make a massive difference and that's completely within your control and there's lots of um, sort of resources to help with that the guys at Absolute Training and Nutrition in um, Barnstable are brilliant at that. Um, you might try something like Weight Watchers. You might just um, be trying to increase your activity. So you're doing everybody active every day. So sorry, that's a casual plug for um, for me trying to get everyone to do lots of exercise. But just you know, going out 20 minutes, 25 minutes of a walk, just to get your blood pumping. And, and then if you have an injury that's holding you back, then consider um, something. All right then, I'll take. Um, sorry, Aisha's just sent me a link through from the other thing. Um, I'll finish my video there. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.